a year. <laughs> a long time, Gorge. A long time. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that. I feel like it was yesterday that we were together. I know. Well, it's because when we're always together, it's a kiki. Aww. And we always, like, like checking in, um, each other's Instagram. So I'm very happy because I have, like, Angie's treasure back. Yes. And we decided to still have some fun with Versace. You know we rock. love our Versace. The last time we got together with Miss Amanda and Genesis, it was so yes. fun. But we decided today we should do a... Neons. Barbie and Ken look. Ken? Well, Kendra and Barbie. Okay, <laughs> yes. So we love neons, we love Versace, and it's summer, so we decided let's have fun. So if you want to see how we created this look, then keep on watching. Okay, yeah. So, I already put my little clips on. I know, I want to put some clips on too. Yes. Those are cute. I, now that my hair is long, you know, it's grown out in quarantine. This is the longest my hair has been in ever. And why you haven't, like... I want to grow it out long. You're going to grow it out long? I'm going to oh grow it out long. So you can put like, you know those fake ponytails? The That's fake ponytails. I want to use my real hair in drag. You can't do it. You, you can know? totally do it. So I, I was just it. like, why not let it grow out during quarantine when no one's looking at this awkward stage? Although look, we've already put a clip in the back because it's okay. like growing out. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. I support it. I support okay, it. Okay. So I, and now what's up with this? Why is there a little thing on that? So in general, oh, okay. So is the reason like, that it's a flat is so it's not too harsh when you take it off. So it doesn't leave an imprint. Yeah. And then there's some people that, you know, when you have that uh, Hollywood glam, yeah, like her too, the finger they wave. put it around like that. Ah. And it's amazing. Okay. Right? So let me get up in here. Oh! Uh, and you look cute, right? While you're doing your makeup. I love it. Well, we love extra. We love extra. I think I need one more clip. Do you have one more? Yes, yes, yes. So I could just really put this down and feel the fantasy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, so what are we doing today? We're going to do like a neon. Super fun color. Super fun color. I was thinking kind of like doing a boy look and having you do a girl look. So we're going to be Barbie Ken. Barbie and Kendra. <laughs> yeah, but between. Kendra, yeah, like Barbie has not find out yet that Ken. Right, might be transitioning. She's doing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a great makeup application always starts with a good skin prep. Yes, so we're going to do a Tatcha primer. I love it. You know, I love my Tatcha. I take her everywhere. I love the silk canvas. You love it. Have you tried the liquid foundation? Yes, I have it too. I have I like the liquid, but I think for me, because I do have a beard, you know, mm -hmm. it. I like a thicker foundation. That you, you feel like it fills your pores. Though. I do. Yeah. Okay. I do. So, but I love them both. I love it. With that being said, so now we're going to use this one. Yes. Silk canvas. Prepping that skin. Have you been at Gia's studio? Did you go to Gia's? Yes, I of helped course. her. We got we got an IKEA. Oh my! Wow. I said so we got this her. table looks real familiar. She's like, yeah, it's we so went to Eddie's. Yeah, we went together to get the table. I love that about you. I love that you are so willing and eager, in fact, to help others and to like spread the knowledge. Like even with the little clips, it's like well, you know. That's the sad what story about. of that is like when I got here, no one ever and I helped me. I remember I asked. I'm not gonna roast anybody, but I asked a lot of people, like, hey, like, hey, like, what do you use for that? And no one but like, they, you, they wouldn't tell me. And I get it, to be honest. It's like, I share my secrets, but not with everybody. Right. Well, I mean, there has to come some boundaries and some borders with that. Yeah, but yeah. I just think it's really good as artists to be sharing our tricks and to I be cannot, helping each other. You but know? I feel like it has to be fair. Like, if yeah. someone share, I feel like they're sharing with me. Like, for example, you... You texted me, I did it, I had no clue, and it was so beautiful that you were like, you thought about my outfit and your outfit. Of course. So, so I feel like it has to be a, a two way. A partnership. Thing. Yeah, a it's partnership. A team. Yeah. It's a team. Okay, cheers. Ding, ding. Cheers. <laughs> I've never drank, but we decided that we're gonna have like just a little. It's just a light bubbly. Mm -hmm. It's like a little afternoon uh, pick me up. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows. Okay, now. what are you gonna use? I'm gonna use this is the brow styler from Benefit. I've really been loving it. I, don't love. Know, I like it. I love benefits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm so. gonna use this fun little rainbow beauty ah! blender that you got us. These are so cute. Hip dot. Hip dot. Yeah. Okay, last nice. year they launched this, and I think they're so cute. Look, and I wash them, and they go back to their. That's place. super clean. I can't believe. I know. There you go. And I am gonna start with my Juvia's Place foundation. You love that one. I love this one. You know, I was using um, Derma Blend. That Derma was the blend. one I used to use because it's really thick. Uh -huh. But the reason I love Juvia's Place is it's, it's so affordable. 
It's oh. so affordable and it's super thick. Yeah, let's talk about affordable like um, foundations. Also for me, like these are my everyday foundations. These are from Kaki Cosmetics. You find them like a Rade. What's it called? Kaki Cosmetics. Kaki. Kaki Cosmetics. I love it. Okay, let's talk about quarantine. Right. So what what have you been doing during quarantine to get yourself motivated A and B to like really get through this time? Well, we got there. So we went to New York for a meet and greet. Right. And then. Like two days later, we went to Peru. We arrived there on a Friday, and Saturday the president was saying that he was gonna close the airport. Like that was now it. which president? Our president? In My America? president? No, Peru. In Peru. Yes. So that you like that was it. It's kind of like so that was on Saturday. So you have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. It's closing. Either you want to leave, you want to stay. Like national and international flights. So what did you so have to do? So it got scary, like, because I was like, oh my God. But to be honest, we didn't know, right? We thought, like, it's, what, going to be, like, what, two weeks? A couple, three weeks? Right. Who, who knew, right? Right. Like, by the first month, then I was like, oh my God. So you were in Peru for a month? Two months. <gasps> Oh I was like, okay, what's gonna happen? The first thing that went through my head is like, when I'm gonna see my boyfriend again? I'm oh. like, no, like my stuff. Yep. And you know what? Because we were supposed to go on a tour of like interviews, we literally just brought like outfits like for interview, like right. everything sequins. <laughs> and then I didn't even bring PJs because I was like, oh. usually when I go, <laughs> usually when I'm like on the go with interviews, I'm so tired after that. I don't want to do anything else because you know how it is. Of Makeup, course, yeah. Coming. So I'm like, I just go in the shower. I'm like, my dad has so much like, like, like you know, just like t-shirts and stuff like that. I was yeah. like, I don't need to pack more and make. Meanwhile, two so months So you know later. what it is? Two months having all my sequins hanging <laughs> and with my father's PJs oh for two gosh. months. Oh it was so different. So what happened then? Did, did finally... And then I find out there were these repatriation flights, which you still pay, but they're organized by the America, the U.S. Embassy. They have this uh, flights that they leave from the military airport, Peruvian military airport. So you go to the embassy, and from the embassy in a bus, you go to the military airport. It's a whole thing. Was it scary? You go to a warehouse. Oh my god, I have all the images. Probably I'm gonna put some here because I've never released my images. Oh my god. So yeah, it literally felt like a movie. We were in a warehouse. You were scared. It no? was a movie. Yes, it was a movie. But you had your dad with you. No, just Genesis and me. So two and girls we by were, themselves. We wore our space, those white spaces, all all girl. To the airport? You know why? They never take your temperature or like the... We did the COVID test and everything. So we when knew. When you got back here? Right before, before you left. Yes, but they didn't do any of that. So I don't know what, what, kind, what kind of people I'm traveling. And your there. father is still in Peru, yes? Yeah, okay? yeah he's, good. he's working. He's doing good. We, we got here and the reportation flights were... For uh, from the U.S. to Miami, not even, oh. not even to L.A. So, so I stayed at my there? uncle's for one month because it was a lot for me from Peru. So how long have you been back in L.A.? I was away for three months. Oh, I, I didn't realize it was so long. I know, friend. Well, struggle. no wonder I didn't see you. <laughs> it is totally, you know, up in the air and. I think as an artist and as an influencer, it's really up to us to stay positive d during this time and to like try to encourage others to do the same, which is why I've been turning to my creativity and oh doing my God. things like this. I saw your video. Yes. It was, a, it was like like a little documentary, you would say, right? Yeah. I, that's the way I saw it. Like a yeah, I got a, I got a small feature in the local news here yes, in Los Angeles. And it. It, it was all about a, a project that I did called Up in Smoke which is actually available on my YouTube. It's a 36-minute 30, play that I wrote and choreographed. I had several of my friends act in the piece. It's about the dark circus. Mm -hmm. So it's a really, it's a cool play that I, I worked on and I was so happy that um, I got coverage thanks to working with Jack Daniels, yeah. which has been, I've been very lucky during quarantine because of the platform I have uh -huh. with RuPaul's Drag Race to work with other companies. Mm -hmm. And um, Jack Daniels did an incredible, you know, campaign uh -huh. where he actually did mukbangs. I was with oh, Gia, super fun, also awesome. on YouTube. Yeah. But uh, they got the news to come and do a story about how as a drag queen, I've continued to stay afloat 
during this your, crazy yeah, time. Yeah, you were, you were making your shows through... Yeah, I've learned how to do uh, aerial, aerial dancing. So you didn't time. do that before? No, I I've you never knew. done it. Oh my God, no. can, can we go out to your place and help me? Yes, you should come over and try <laughs> yeah. that. I, I have a pole now too. Oh my God, so yes. much fun. Okay. So, so yeah, I've just been trying to pick up new skills and also like perfect skills like uh -huh. makeup right because yeah. we're stuck at home and so i want to use this time to still be creative and keep myself in a in a positive in a positive space yes you have to i mean especially us as artists right we need that creativity to keep flowing right and like we live for that yes and even if i'm just doing my makeup at home and walking out to the living room at least i look fabulous as i sashay to the couch honey <laughs> exactly. So as I get ready, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go uh, grocery shopping. And me and Genesis, full wigs, like that. <laughs> yes, you have to. I mean, you just have to. Well, you know, like, also I've learned in this quarantine, like, you know how sometimes you save your cute stuff, like, for a special occasions? I was like, you know what? Now I'm using everything. I don't, I don't, like... Need to every, wait. No, because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Enjoy. Live your day fully. Like, this cute pigment from, oh, um... OPV Beauty. Love. We've also got this Look incredible this. palette from Hip Dot with uh. Meatball, incredible drag queen. Yeah. Loving that. We've got these really cool, what are these, who are these fine? They're called like the basics and they're from um, Pinky Rose Cosmetics. Now you just did a tutorial with these, right? Yes, I love it. Like you can do it like as a basic, you can put it on your lips, you can put it on your waterline. Some of them you can use it as a highlighter. Like, look at this red. So they're multi-purpose. Like, yes, multi-purpose. They're it. amazing. Like, aren't they pretty? <gasps> I love it. I you know, you, you gotta support your drag queens during this time. Okay. All of our performances uh, that lock it in place. Not just lock it, but also create like the strokes. How does it strokes? Yeah, the strokes. Yeah, yeah like this. Go over my lid, and I'm gonna use it as a primer. So I can put my other as the base and yes. then put the color over it. Yeah. That's kinda like how I do my contour. I always contour with a cream and uh -huh. then go and back then in go with the powder. powder. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna cut my crease. Oh, she's already cutting the crease. I feel so behind on no, today. Good, but I didn't do she's my contour. She's still perfecting the like brows. Well, I did that at the very end. I love it though. I love that purple. So pretty. It's from P. Louise. These are. Um, oh, you told me about them. Yes, this is like to cut creases. You didn't see our video of our Versace makeovers the first time around. Yeah. They definitely should check that out. It was funny. Yeah, it wasn't much about like a tutorial. It was no. a chit chat and having fun. It was a catch up with me yeah. and your sister and Amanda, yeah. but it's a fun video. It's a fun video. Yeah, we talked about now, it. Now I'm gonna go in with the Kim Chi Puff Puff Pass. Have you used her makeup yet? Uh, Amanda brought it and she loved it. It she loved is it. amazing. Yeah. So I'm gonna go in here and just kind of touch up that highlight I just yeah. laid down. As you can see, we all have like different, um, how do I say, like steps? Techniques. Like techniques, yeah. yeah, and there's nothing wrong. Makeup is art and you should be able to express yourself however it makes you happy and makes you feel good. Exactly. So I decided I'm actually gonna take the highlight, which is by um. Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. So this is a concealer that I used on my brows, but I'm gonna put it over my whole eyelid, I've decided. Uh -huh. Just so that when I add that pop of neon, it's the it only will, thing. Yeah, now yeah, this yeah. pink you're adding, oh, wow. Oh, well, this is, right now, this is still just the, the P. Louise. Now oh, I'm that gonna was add the P. Louise, the, yes, wow. Now I'm gonna add this. So this is funny. This is from a brand that is called um, Unicorn Cosmetics, I believe. Uh -huh. I think it's from, I think it's a UK, I have to say. But I love this so much and I've been taken care of so much. Like this particular one. I haven't tried another one. I know I have another pink, but this one, I love it. And I'm like, I might have to just buy this one thing. 
<laughs> Imagine hey, from the UK. Yes. Just for that one pigment. Okay, look. Now look if I add that on top. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It pops so big. Oh. Uh. Oh. But I think that base you added really helped it, don't you think? And it's also helping the pigment stick. Yes. Yeah. And as my base, uh -huh. and then just put it in the inner corners. Okay. Let me see. Some people are constantly like telling me. But you're pretty, you don't need much makeup. It's not, it's way beyond that. It's fun, it's art. I'm yeah. just having fun. I'm not doing all this. Oh, let me cut that crease so I can look prettier. Right. It's that just something like, you enjoy just, and brings you joy. I mean, look at that. Who wouldn't it's smile fun. with that bright it's like you said, Yeah, instead of coloring it yeah. I'm coloring my face. Exactly. Like, let me, yeah. Let me live! <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this OPV Beauty from London. Oh my gosh, this pigment! I'm telling you, so I you know. only need what? Just the tiniest bit. You can just use like literally from the, the lid. From the lid, yeah, okay, that's let's it. See. Ooh, gorgeous. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid <gasps> Glitter Eyeliner. Oh my god! And just kind yes. of put it in that corner to add some texture, a little bit of shine. With this purple, because I'm feeling like like going more. They go back in with the OPV Beauty from London. Now in the shade, I wonder what the shade is called in the blue. It is called. This is called Oce Oceanic. Oceanic. I think that's how you say that word. Oceanic. And it's a beautiful blue. So I'm just going to put that underneath. I'm going to use the same O. Oh. Oh, PV from from where? London. From, from London. From this London. From London. Ah! I'm gonna break that mirror. Oh, come on, Gerard. Up. We love yeah. her. Okay, so we don't. We make sure that you don't keep breaking. So this OP OPV London from London. It's a an orange neon. I'm gonna go in with the artist Couture. Couture. Oh. Icy girl. From Mac Daddy, who I just I see. okay, just a love, and he actually taught me to put it on, you know, somewhere else, and then warm up the little particles first mm -hmm. before you apply it. Oh. Isn't that gorge? <gasps> Wait, Isn't that, that gorge? gorge? It is gorge. Icy girl, you need her. Cause I'm icy, right? I'm gonna put this on top. I'm loving. From Pinky Rose. Now I'm gonna go in with Kim Chi's Drama Queen Highlight Palette, which again, just obsessed with. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Flushed Doll for my cheeks. I think it's just the perfect color to give you that slight pop of pink without looking too drag. So since I'm trying to give a more natural. Something's unnatural, okay. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. my natural. Does that, look. yeah, does that word exist in her vocabulary? Okay. Yeah, that looks natural and boyish, right? <laughs> Ooh, what about if I did a blue to match the blue in my eye? That's the one. Just gonna do something natural and then that's it. Well, that's what I said. I was supposed to do a natural boy look. <laughs> and now I'm applying blue. So I don't have a blue lipstick. That's this exact color. So I'm gonna mix two. So do you have any exciting projects coming up that you're working on? Yeah, I have an excited project with La Grange Restaurant. Oh my gosh, you do? We do. <laughs> <laughs> so... We've been talking about that we both have followers, of course. Um, some I have some from Peru, he has some from the US, and we should start doing giveaways for all our fans. Yes! So we're going to host a giveaway, one for the US, only US, and we're going to do only one for Peru. So stay tuned because, of course, we have to prepare for that. 
We need a fabulous picture. Yes, and videos and together. everything. Ah, but I'm excited together. that we're finally going to collab in that Yay. way. And you guys are going to love the goodies we have for yeah, you. Yeah, because all our fans like see all the, the goodies that we have. It's, it's fun to play with makeup, but it's fun also to have more. And if we are like fortunate to have so much makeup, yeah. we're like, why not share with Exactly. Fans? Sharing is caring. And it's more, it's more exciting when we can involve all of you in our project. So now they'll have some of the similar palettes that we have. And... Maybe they can recreate our looks a little bit easier. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I guess. Yeah. I also have been working on something. I have a tell me, tell me. new YouTube series that comes out every Monday at 4.20 p.m. How, how many Mondays have you been doing it already? We just launched it this Monday. Today was this, this week was our first Monday and um, the show is called Muse Me and it's all a behind the scenes look at the photo shoots that I do with my best friend Robert Heyman who actually does my makeup, my hair, my styling, the photography and the editing. Wow, what? He does the whole thing. So, so it's a series that kind of yeah. goes behind the scenes of our process as collaborators. Well, so. I'm glad that you're giving him your platform. Yes, to, to yes. Well, and he's giving me incredible art. So just like we were talking about earlier, it's all about being a team, right? And mm -hmm. really helping each other and, and using our platforms to build one another up. I love it. Yeah, love I'm excited. It. I'm very excited. So this also comes from the UK. Just to order this. And what is this it? This is called, uh, this is from Doll Beauty. It's called um, Candy. Oh, look. <gasps> Ooh, just that. Magic and that's it. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. Oh, look at And I love this one from Dior Cosmetics. It's called the Eternal Eyeliner. Is she really good? I've never used it. Is she really it. eternal? <laughs> yeah, I've never used it. Eyeliner always takes me a second to Well, perfect. it's this type of, it's very pointy one. It's easier to use. It's very easy, yeah, I like it. Because we're both cleaning. I was cleaning up my lips to you make them cleaning? perfect. You were cleaning? Taking the highlight and just oh. coming in under there, you know. It's crazy how much mascara like brings out the look. Right? You know? Look, yeah. So I discovered this Lashify kit that's mm -hmm. a DIY a lash extension process that you can mm -hmm. do at home. Um, and it comes with two gossamers and then you've got your... Um, glue to apply and then your glass which seals it off and this actually I partnered up with Lashify yeah. and we launched this limited edition green wand but you're gonna love this wand because the way it works is you can actually lay it over the eyes you see and curl up this way and then I see how it's got two ridges so that you can place it over your nose and do the other oh, eye. Oh, yeah. And the, what's really interesting about this lash extension kit is that these individual gossamers are actually applied to the underneath of your eyelid. So you apply the lashes on the bottom side. So when you look down, you can't clock it. You won't be able to see them. It's amazing. So, so it's, it's like truly cat, changed. One, catfish in 101. Exactly, yes. People really believe. Oh, that's why they're more of a lash extension. So it's like to my boyfriend, hi. Yeah. Hi, good morning. He'll think you grew your lashes out. It's amazing. So I'm going to yeah. show you how it works. Yeah, everything that works to keep the boyfriend in place. Okay. From Dollar Lash Club. I love them. They always send me like a bunch. Of Dollar lashes. Lash Club? What's that? Dollar Lash Club. Lashes. Lashes, honey. Lashes. Oh, I thought maybe it was a club where they sent you it's lashes every month. It's a club. Well, yeah. be part of the club. Too. Okay. <laughs> you grow up playing with Barbies? Oh, uh, yes. Me too. All the way. Me I think too. I took longer on putting the house together. Than actually playing. Okay. Because it wasn't just the house. I, I will take the whole, like, all the corners, like, to make different rooms and things like that. Yeah. And, and yeah. Okay, so now that I've got my lashes where I love them, I'm just going to go in with the last step, which is the glass, which just locks and loads and seals. I love it. The brows. Yeah. Not um, the brows. The eyelashes. <laughs> Gosh. I guess that truly is starting to hit me, Gorge. <laughs> the drink, the drink. Uh -huh. doing the job. The drink is doing the job. Okay, and actually, to be honest, I don't take that long in my contour and all of that. That is, like, pretty quick for me. I'm going to use again. This is also my Everydays. This is my Kaki Cosmetics, same thing, my concealer. I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics. This is... I love this because... 
I can do my contour and my blush. So I have blush and contour all together in this super mini one, perfect for travels. It's my boy look. <laughs> hi, it's hi, my Ken. Boy look. hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Use the middle part, which is the blush. The Pinky Rose Cosmetics Yellow. Oh, Jesus Christ. So let's see. Nothing like a neon lip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my boy look, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> hair. And I was going to do a very slicked back <gasps> boy hair moment. Fears, fears. I think Doll Beauty has a highlighter, and this highlighter is also fierce. Oh. The tip of my nose, French. You're so cute. Right? There's our little boy, Aww. boy look coming together. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm almost there. This Kendra is very non-binary. No, no, but what, what he was for, like, the um, The card of my drawer cosmetic set is spray. Oh, I'm gonna need that, too. Okay. Gia had one of these that was so good by you know Gerard. How? I don't. I'm gonna give you. Close. Well, Jen is coming. Ooh, that one's nice. Yeah, this one is Dream Dreamsicle. Dreamsicle. This is with mm. Rich Lux. It's the... Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I love Rich it's Lux. A, He's the nice. best. The tea. She's the best. I love it. I got the receipt. So now that we're done with makeup, we're gonna go and change in our final outfit. Let's go get glam. Ah. I hope you guys enjoy. We had so much fun. So much fun, sister. Thank you so much for Aww, coming. Thank for you for having oh me. If you guys didn't know, Laganja let me borrow his um his outfit. Well, from outfit his yes. And I don't ever get to be a boy for anyone. So I said, if I'm going to be a boy, let it be for someone special like Miss Josetti. So oh, okay. I'm excited. I think it turned out really good, don't you? I love it. I can't wait to take pictures yes. outside. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification button, leave some comments below. Subscribe to Laganja's channel. I'm going to be leaving all her social media in the description box. And nothing until next time. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you.